All right. This is part two of the races of men. Um, now, the reason for there is a reason for everything I do. There is a method to my madness. I'm going to show you a, a one and a half minute uh, video before we get this video started. And I want you to see what other children, other races of children are doing while our dumb behinds are out marching in the street talking about we shall overcome and I forgive you and all of this crazy madness that has been stuck in our heads for centuries. This is not a video that's telling you to go out and hurt anyone. This video is telling you that you need to learn how to fire and use a weapon because you are the ones that are left behind. The shooter has indicated ready. Stand by. This little girl is only 13 years old and her family are training her very well. In our communities, what are we looking after? We're trying to find out what the stars are doing. We're trying to find out what the next door neighbors are doing. We're trying to buy this or get that. All right, it is now six minutes to the fake new year. And you see what I'm doing? I'm making videos. It don't matter anything to me. But the most important thing is to remember, this little girl was 13 years old when they made this video. It's time for you to get your weapons legalized, learn how to shoot these things and protect yourselves. We're left behind. We really are. All right. Enjoy the video. Okay, here we go. The Negro's muscles are differently shaped from ours. The curly corkscrew locks of the Hottentots bear no resemblance to the link black hair of the Esquimox. The Tasmanian and Australian races are said to show many particularities in structure. The next page, we're in page 153, the dark, the dark races of men. But who are the dark races of, of, of the ancient modern times? It would not be easy to answer the qu this question. Were the cops a dark race? You already said they were. Are the Jews a dark race? If that's a question, then what do you have? Why are you calling the ma majority of them from there? It's crazy. It's really crazy. It says, are the Jews a dark race? The gypsies? The Chinese? Dark. They are to a certain extent. Hmm. Okay, what's the hijack? So are the Mongol tribes, the American Indians, and the Esquimox, the inhabitants of nearly all Africa of the, of the east of Australia. So why are these people today called? Why do these people today look like Europeans? Why do they look like Europeans? All of these look like Europeans today except the ones in, in, in Africa. I guess it was just too hard to do Africa because it was just, just too many all over the place. Although they tried, don't get me wrong, they have tried. Look at South Africa. Look what they tried to do down in South Africa and now they are, they did in all of North North Africa, they did that. Look at the Carthaginians. Go back to way then and look at now. Look at Alexandria. Man, it's, it's, it's amazing what has happened. And again, you, you, wow.
Man, I'm not even going to say it. Let's continue to march here. It says, uh, the Saxons will not mingle with any dark race, nor will he allow him to hold. This is what I was talking about earlier. When they had, they was talking about the, uh, the Saxons working up north and they had the so-called Negro working down south, but the Saxons would get the, get land and they was trying to prevent the Negro from anywhere in the world owning his own land. Watch this here. It says, the Saxons will, will not mingle with any dark race, nor will he allow him to hold an acre of land in the country occupied by him. Not an acre of land in the country that is occupied by him. They keep telling you you're from here, but you, a lot of us are not listening. No, 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 wrong, 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 wrong. A lot of us is just not reading. <laughs> Keep it real. All right. And I was I was one of them till about seven years ago. Yes, I was. Okay. This at least is the law of the Anglo Saxon America. You're in your own lands and they won't they don't want you to own an acre of land. They don't want you to. Yes, some of us do own a little bit of land. We own a little piece. Some of us own the little small land that we call a home. Some of us own acres of land, but they don't want you to. This was the Anglo-Saxon law. Okay, let's continue to march. The fate then of the Mexicans, Peruvians, and Chileans. Remember they had little woolly hair in those other, those other pics. Okay, of this uh, other old book. It says of the Mexicans, Peruvians, and Chileans is in no shape doubtful. Extinction of the race, sure extinction, it is not even denied. And I'm going to tell you how they cause us to be extinct. They cause us to be extinct with a damn pen, with a typewriter, with a book. They cause our extinction. We're still there, but most of us don't know that we're there. When we go out there and visit and we say, oh man, is that, that's a black Mexican look. We're shocked, but those people are not shocked because they, they know they've been there. They don't know nothing about these books that, that, that's been lying on them. They don't know nothing about that. In Puerto Rico, well, you see all of these here, Negro Ricans, <laughs> all over the place, man. But you don't see them on TV. You don't. You don't. Let's continue to march before I get mad. PTSD levels are starting to raise up again. <sighs> okay, let's get through this here. Again, like I said, I hate reading this stuff, man. You don't go. I'm not showing you all the stuff that be pissing me off, and I'll be, whew, boy, I'll be messing this office up sometimes. I'll be getting mad. Anyway, okay, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Okay, continue to march. Already in a few years, we have cleared Van Diemen's land of every human aboriginal. That's crazy, ain't it? Australia, of course follows and New Zealand next tell me all of these places where these so-called uh, uh, black people are these melanated people are that's all they're telling you when they came in and asked you are you Christian or are you a uh, uh, heathen they didn't ask you that they looked at your skin and they made a decision um, Australia of course follows and New, New Zealand next there is no denying the fact that the Saxons Call himself what name you will. Has a perfect horror for his darker brethren. Uh, we're on page 160 of the Dark Races of Men. And what do I have here? I have. I'm going to read this here. It says the Caffreys are closely allied to the Negro race. Some Africans, some people all over the world, some that they call Indians, Negroes, right? See how they confuse things? First they said, the now they call the Negroes everything, but then they got Caffrey. Confusion, man, total confusion. They're doing this for a purpose. So it's up to us to find out who we are. And that's what we're doing, some of us. Okay, back again, it says, the Caffreys are closely aligned, allied to the Negro race and probably graduate, as it were, into them. For as nature has formed many races of white men whose physical or or organization and mental disposition differ widely from each other, so also has formed the swarthy world. 
Oh, now they're trying. See, this is what they did with this Willie Lynch thing. They try to break up one side to the other side and get everybody against each other. This is exactly Willie Lynch shit that I'm reading right here. It really is. All right, let's continue to move here. Um, it is not necessary, neither perhaps is it at all correct to call a Caffrey a Negro. Uh, when you start reading these old books, you find out that the slaves were brought up from Brazil. The slaves were brought up from the from the West Indies. And yes, there were some slaves brought from Africa. Not as many as what was already here, already in place. You find out that in in the Carolinas, in uh, Pennsylvania, in Georgia, many places, there were almost, if not half as many, almost as many Europeans in those places. Crazy, huh? All right, continue, Mark. That's this. It is not necessary, neither perhaps is it at all correct to call a Caffrey a Negro, a Negro a Caffrey. Uh, neither are the Caffreys degenerated Bedouins, nor well-fed Hottentots, nor Saxons turned black by the sun, nor Arabs, nor Carthaginians. All these people are different. They said, I would as soon say they were the 10 lost tribes. That's something to think about in it. You know, when you read the Bible, it'll tell you that the 10 lost tribes uh, went to a land where never a mankind dwelt. Something to think about. It really is. And uh, that's another thing uh, I have to say. A lot of us in the in the indigenous community, they want to forget about this here. They don't want to have nothing to do with the but with the Bible or the biblical times because. Of, and I can understand why. But the reason I can understand it is because of uh, they haven't read it. Okay, we're now on page 161 of the Dark Races of Men. When the Negro is crossed with the hot and tight races, now this is crazy. When I read this here, it tripped me out. All right, it says, uh, when the Negro is crossed with the hot and tight race, their product is mild-tempered. Something they love. Now, this is crazy. Um, industrious person. When with the white race, <laughs> something goes haywire. When with the right race, the result is scoundrel. But cross as you will, the mulatto cannot hold his ground as a mulatto. Remember, we talked about that earlier in this book. Uh, about you're gonna, he's not gonna be able to stay what he is. He's got, he's gonna, he's gonna disappear. But he's gonna go back to what he was, either this side or that side. It says, back the breed will go to one or the other of the pure breeds, white or black. I have already explained this. Yep, you did. We went over that before. All right, let's continue to march here. And it says, and now for the Negro, and Negro land, Central. You see this right here? When did you hear about Negro land in a in, in a a college or a high school history book? Never, never, never. It's a real thing. It is real. Totally real. Whew. Okay, getting mad again because of knowing that people have lied to me again. It really pisses me off. It really does. All right, let's see if we can get this here. Go ahead and highlight that. All right, let's, let's go ahead and read some more. Bring it down. Now, I, I say something about PTSD uh, a few times out here, and it's because it's real. This shit is no joke. Um, I have already explained this. And now for the Negro and Negro land, Central Africa, as yet untried or un unknown. Look at the Negro so well known to you and say need i disturb him is he shaped like any white person people are not different people i mean uh, people are not the same people people are not the same these people are telling you they're not the okay. same not that is he shaped like any other person is the anatomy of his frame of his muscles or organism like ours and they know that uh, the Negro, the so-called Negro, is stronger than they are. They know that the, the the physical makeup is stronger than theirs. The anatomy is stronger. They know this. But they'll tell you different. They'll tell you you're dumb and you're weak. Reading will pick you up. So please read. 
Okay, let's continue to mark. Does he walk like us? Think like us? Act like us? Not in the least. Not in the least. What an in-hate hatred the Saxon has for him. Why does the Saxon hate him so much? Because they want what he has. He has that bill. He has that flavor. He has All right. that. It says, what an in-hate hatred the Saxon has for him. It says, but I have spoken of this already. And, and, it, and it is a painful topic. And yet, this despised race drove the warlike French from Saint Domingo. And the issue of a struggle with them in Jamaica might be doubtful. But come it will, and then the courage of the Negro will will be tried against England. This is something that they fear right now, still to this day. Already they defeated France, but after all, was it not the climate? I'm trying to here's your hijack right here. Was it not the climate? They're trying to say. <laughs> no, it wasn't the climate. Uh for that anybody of dark men in the world will ever fight successfully a French army of 20,000 men, I never shall believe. Uh, this is, it's hard to see this, so we're just going to uh, read one thing they said here. It says, the Australians are black, but they are not Negroes. Mm -hmm. They're different people. And I didn't write this. A European wrote this. So maybe you need to hear it from the European's mouth before you start to believe. Okay, the hottest actual war ever carried on, the bloodiest of Napoleon's campaign is not equal to that now waging between our descendants in America and the dark races. It is a war of extermination. Inscribed on each banner in a death's head and no surrender. One or the other must fall. You're getting this right. But here climate steps in and says to the land, uh, to the land grasping Saxons, I give you a choice of evils. Cultivate Central Africa or Central America with your own hands and you and you perish. Employ, employ the colored man, your brother, as a slave and live under continual, continual fear of of their terrible vengeance terrible when it comes as come it will told you that this is why you get keep getting shot now and they're trying to get rid of us they keep giving our babies these things to, to, to mess their minds up and if you're not we're not paying attention to it but when you hear it from somebody you think he's a conspiracy theorist here it is they're telling you about it way back then before before they started doing some of this stuff unrelenting merciless, uh, merciless a million of slaveholders cut off now this is something this is one of the reasons you got to really uh and it's, it's hard to say that but uh you can't group everybody into the same uh bowl but you must be vigilant when grouping people you must be vigilant all right here we go it says a million slaveholders cut off in cold blood tomorrow would call forth no tears of sympathy in Europe. Bravo, bravo, we should say. The slave has risen and burst his chains. He deserves to be free. This wild visionaries and pitiable theories have been offered respecting the color of the black man as if he differed only in color from the white race, but he differs in everything as much as in color. He is, he is no more a white man than an ass is to a horse or a zebra. If the, if the Israelites find his 10 tribes amongst them, I will say be happy. A lot of these here people before these Israelites start jumping on the corners, they knew the possibility of who you are. They knew that you're different from them. They knew that you could be from the lost tribes. Maybe even Judah, who was scattered throughout 
the world. <sighs> Something to think about, isn't it? All right, we're moving on to page 169. We got some better, better, uh, some clearer pages here. All right, what did I highlight here? I said, I allude more especially to the race known by the name of red or copper colored Indians. Extending as it would seem from Nootka Sound, from Nootka, from, yeah, from, from Nootka Sound and the borders of the Arctic Circle to the rock bound shores of the lands of fire, including probably all the West Indy Islands, the tribes of Brazil and the, Car and the Car Caribbeans or the Caribs. As we heard already er earlier when I was, if you can go back, uh, it tells you about from the pole to pole, dark races rule this place all over. And again, they decided to use this instead of dark races. No, I'm not hijacking anything. Not a thing at all. It is what it is. They changed the name here, meaning the same thing, the dark races. Meaning the same thing. Again, when you read and listen to what the author is not telling you, you learn a whole lot of things that he did not mean to say, but was actually going on in his head. All right, let's continue. This is extending as it would seem from Nootka Sounds and the borders of the Arctic Circle to the rock uh, bound shores of the land of fire, including probably all of the West Indies Islands, tribes of Brazil and the Caribs. At the extremities of, the, of this long and singularly shaped continent, it seems to me that two other races which may be temperate, polar or Arctic exist. The north worse this is uh, to the north we are certain that the Esquimox dark Eskimos differ essentially from the red Indians now are we ready to accept the fact that there are two indigenous people here that was actually three let's keep reading and in the south it is probably it is it is probable that's a miserable dark colored population wandered on the outskirts of the land of fire three one two three they only talk about one and a lot of us kind of glean towards one knowing that something's wrong knowing that we're here but then we glean to that au contraire mon frere there was other uh, dark colored races here indigenous. everywhere I've seen indigenous look like me and darker much darker some okay let's continue to march let's see uh, let's see well, let me go back here it says, dark colored population wandered on the outskirts of the land of fire I don't know why they call it the land of fire I uh, see are not red Indians they are not red to see again it's different they are not red Indians, but they were here. The dark colored population was here. They're not red Indians. It says, but a race analogous to the Australian and the former inhabitants of Van Diemen's land. Polar or Arctic races of men, dark in color. When I say dark in color again, swarthy. Swarthy, dark skin. It just re repeat what you said. Dark in color, swarthy. I, see, I speak particularly of the Esquimox. Yes, you do speak of the Esquimox because the Esquimox are the dark Eskimos. Thus in, thus in America, the races darken as we approach the poles. Isn't that something to think about? The races darken as they approach the poles. That makes no sense compared to what they told you. They told you that races change as people move in certain areas so everybody's the same everybody came from the same place out of africa don't make no damn sense it really don't you hear you are, are you are you paying attention to this are you catching this here hijacked because i just flipped off of this here about a couple months ago i said wait a minute what 
I'm going to say it again. I speak particularly of the Esquimox. Do we need to see who they are again? Look up Esquimox. Eskimos. And as we uh, saw earlier in, in, in this book, they are dark, very dark skinned people. And let's see. I speak particularly of the Eskimox. Thus, in, in America, the races darken as we approach the poles. The eternal snow, which ought to have whitened them, according to the theories, from the Hippocrats to Barton Smith, have failed to bleach them. You feeling this? Are you getting this? Everything is the opposite that they have told us. And yet we hold on to some things that they've told us. I say you need to prove all things. All things. Uh, the dark races of men on page 178. What did I write here? I mean, what did I highlight here? And it says, and now for the insular parts of the new world, one great section, Haiti has shown the white man that he cannot colonize a tropical country. Again, telling you that the people who they enslaved there are still there today and they did not pick them up from somewhere. They were already there. That's why they was used to where they were. Even the Euro Europeans went there and they couldn't work it because they found people were in place that are used to those hot and hell, you can take a person out of Africa today who's lived nothing but Africa and, and take them down to, uh, to, uh, to Cuba or Jamaica or somewhere and put them out there. They're going to catch hell for a little while. They're going to have to, uh, uh, they're going to have to, uh, climatize or die. And now of the insular parts of the new world, one great section, Hayate has shown the white man that he cannot colonize a tropical country. It must revert to those races on whom nature has bestowed a constitution adopted to labor under a tropical sun, right where they were the whole time. Cuba and Jamaica will follow. Same thing they did to those places. Uh, they will become a black spot in history of civilization for nothing in history of mankind permits us to believe in the perfect civilization of the Negro. You hear that? Let's do that again. For nothing in history of mankind permits us to believe in the perfect civilization of the Negro race. They want you to have absolutely nothing. They want you to have absolutely nothing for nothing in the history of mankind permits us to believe the perfect civilization of the Negro race. The policy of the European, here it is, this is, this is huge. <sighs> calm down, all right, calm down, I'm getting mad. I'm gonna read this though. The policy of the European races would be to expel the Negro and transplant. Now check this out. You wanna talk about where these are? Uh, these uh, uh, Mongols came from that we that, that, that they're calling the Native American Indians. Watch this. The policy of the European races would be to expel the Negro and transplant the coolies, the Hindus, Chinese, and other feeble races as laborers and workmen, bondmen. In fact, transplant the Negro out and bring them in. Is that why we're looking at Mongoloid Native Americans today? I don't know the answer to that. I can't answer it, but this book is telling me something. All we got to do is listen to what the author is not trying to tell us. I'll let you figure this one out. It says, why not call everything by its right name? It says, uh, uh, over these, the Saxons and Celts might lord it as we do in India with a few Europeans bayonets leveling taxes and land rent holding a monopoly on trade furnishing them with salt and 50 times its furnishing them with salt at 50 times its value but we cannot do this with the true negro but we cannot do this with the true negro that's the thing we got to find out who we are. We got to let this Negro thing go and dig under that name and find out who we are. I don't know the answer yet. I don't know. 
the only thing I can, can tell you is that my folks came from where we are. I got a little bit of history. Now, that's a question. Why would they have to say the true Negro? The true Negro. They can't do this. What's going on here? That true Negro has a lot to do with that biblical story. They know that. They know that. Why would they call the true Negro and not keep saying the Negro? It's the first time they said true Negro in this whole book. Come on, at page 179 to 300 pages. All right. Continuing on, Dark Race is the Man on page 185. See a whole lot here. Let's just go straight into here. It says, from the north of the Obi to the fertile land claimed in Asia by the Muscovites belong to the dark races of men. Ain't that something? Look at that. We've been hidden. We've been hidden in plain sight. And those people are still there, by the way. They're still just as dark as we are over here. But they don't put them on TV. They don't. Let's see, what, what do we have here? Uh, what has become of the vast races of swarthy Mongols whose tenant fields resemble a noble city? Look at that, huh? What's going on? We have, it says, in America, we will not allow the black man to be a free man. In America, he will not allow a black man to be free. In Tasmania, he swept him and at once entirely from the land of his birth. No compunctious visitings about the fell swoop which extinguished a race. This is enough. If you can't get it after watching this video, you never will get it. And I'm gonna keep putting videos out there as I find information. But this video right here, at this point in this video, I'm really pissed off. Really pissed off. And there's nothing I can do but keep reading keep digging keep turning over rocks we don't know it uh, now it's, it's getting to be a handful of us that's getting to know that this is a war and yet still there's only a hand really there's only a handful of caucasians that know that this was a war or this is a war the others they just join in and say hey we're better than them not realizing that um, a lot of them are the enemies of the people that look like them but they're being used to keep us at bay all right you guys take care and um happy fake new year to you all yes it's fake <laughs> was well, real right later thanks for watching i hope you got something out of these two videos uh in these videos i am not pushing anybody to go and do any type of violence i am pushing for you for us all to defend ourselves i also need you to know that um I am a mixed person. You heard me say that before. And I have close family members that are European, as well as I do have cl close friends that are European. I am not in any form of racist. However, there's some things on there that were said on here that would make you feel that way. But hey, tough titty. Read this book. It'll piss you off too. All right. Thanks again. Take care.